trying my external mic today to see if that makes the sound any better. Don't tell the camera, but I am going to upgrade soon. I want to get one with built-in mics. Right. First, let's cross the road. As you can see, there's lovely new red and white painted duck crossings. They're everywhere at the moment. Mainly since, uh, some, unfortunately, some poor doctor in Bangkok got run over crossing the road. So now they've decided to improve all the crossings. So you, I don't know, supposedly you can see them better now. You probably all recognize this place. We've been here before. On my days off from the zoo, I like to go out for a walk every day. And I do come here quite a lot. Got some holiday coming up soon and I will take you to some new places because there is quite a lot to do around here. Most of it's not in walking distance but we can go for a little spin on the beast. There's the park on our left. A lot of beautiful, a lot of beautiful flowers in the park. The tide is out today. Here's the beach. <laughs> I'll take you closer in a minute, but you can see these guys over here are digging for shellfish of some kind. I don't know what kind, but personally I wouldn't like to eat them. Not very clean here. Comes from, you can see in the distance there, those cranes, that's all part of Lam Shabang Port, which has expanded over the years, and apparently before Lam Shabang Port, this used to be white sand. Not now. <laughs> the other thing I don't like to see here is all this rubbish, look. Plastic cup, styrofoam, food packaging, Buckets. A lot of this is just where people toss it over the side when they're out when they ships the boats. Actually, over there with those tall buildings, you may just about to be, be able to see some fishing boats. That's where they all moor. I've been sat there fishing and I've actually seen the, the captain of the boat take his food out of his packaging and chuck the packaging straight in the sea. Why don't we all do that? Why don't we bother with bins in our offices? Because that's what, to me, that's that's the equivalent. Just throw it on the floor. Don't worry about it. Someone will come and pick it up eventually. 
actually talking about that. There is, uh, she's got a watch shop near where I live. Her name's Donna, and she's always asking me to come along and help with her beach clean, which she does with students. It's, they treat it as an English lesson as well. I want to go, but it's finding the time to do it. Because um, I, I, I want to, I, I like to help um, do my little bit, which we can all do with rubbish, with trash. Pick it up, not so keen on, but if we all take care of our personal trash, then um, we're all doing our little bit. Seeing this park, you may just seen, there's lots of benches. People come sit here, relax, watch the sunset, have a snack, have a drink, but then just walk up and leave their litter lying there. It's not difficult, you bought it, you can take it with you. It wasn't too heavy to carry when it, before you at it. Now take it and wait till you come to a bin. I was watching a guy the other day's channel, No Time To Be Sad, and he was, he apologised for ranting and raving about it because he was on Ko Kut or Ko Chang and there was lots of litter washing up in this, in the beautiful clear sea and I don't think he should apologise for ranting and raving because maybe more people need to than people will get the idea. <laughs> Pick it up and take it home. Cross the road again. Always a peril. Look at that, litter everywhere. Horrible, horrible. See what I mean about the sand? Definitely not white now. going to happen with this. See, sat here, had your drink. Yeah, enjoy your drink. Take it home with you. I can, ex I think everyone can accept these things. You see, they're parts of net and part, they've definitely come from boats, fishing boats. Maybe they wash over the side, you know, it can get quite rough out there. But if you're just chucking it over the side willfully, willy-nilly, then <laughs> come on, you know better. I actually start summer school next week and we get freedom to teach what we like. I'm, I'm going to do the environment, um, not so much the environment, Mother Nature, because my belief is we can't do nothing about that. Um, what will be, will be. She's a powerful lady, she does what she wants. And if you look back through history, she, she does what she wants when she wants to do it. But we can all protect our own environment, our own personal space. We can all be greener. Are we going to do away with plastic 100%? I doubt it. Powers that be decide that. But we can recycle. We can, like I carry a bag round with me in my backpack all the time. Reuse the same bag. Anything that can be recycled, recycle it. There's a lot of people that make a living off that in Thailand, so support them. Put it in a separate bag, so the poor beggars don't have to go through the rubbish bins. Yeah, lady.
lady getting her dinner. I said I wouldn't want to eat it. But hey, that's me. Again, that's my choice. Going back to the uh, summer school, I will be teaching art and craft as well as my normal subjects and one thing I'm going to do with the students is recycled art. Looking forward to that, it's, it's a lovely thing to do, it's one of the joys of teaching is having fun. When you first start like me, I started 11 years ago. When you first start, you think it's so structured and this is the way to do it. You're actually just teaching them conversation. But it's not. You can teach about whatever you like. Teaching English as a second language is teaching the art of communication. And that's what language is. And that's what, especially second language, people who are teaching it as their second language that have learned all the grammar. You don't need to. You don't bother much in your own language. And you're confusing yourself all the time when you're trying to remember the grammar rules and translating. And that's not what it's about. What it's about is thinking in that language. My Thai is okay, I can communicate. And But what I find myself doing more and more is actually thinking in Thai and actually speaking Thai automatically, not having to translate if that makes sense. There you go, everybody remember this bridge? Not going to ask you the name again because you already know. Actually, not as windy as I thought it would be. It is windy, but... Or maybe it is windier than I think. I'm just used to it. There you go. What beer bottle. What's the odds on that? Sat here drinking it. Your truck, your car, two metres away. So much easier to toss it over the, over the side, though. spot for the shellfish. Quite a few people here. It's not so bad here but one thing that does put me off eating this as well is the smell. Especially over the other side of the park when the wind's in the wrong direction. <laughs> It's not very pleasant. Which, as I said, put, puts me off eating it. Tell him. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. People fishing with the rod. What that guy's doing there, I'm um, wading out and doing it. I've actually done that here. Yeah. See that white building over there? That's the Marine Police. And to the left, by the bigger white building, which is the Meadowbed Hospital. 
There's a hotel though that I used to stay up when I first came here. And I used to go fishing most days before I started work and I ended up copying the Thai fishermen when they just walk a low tide, walk about 100 metres out. And so I thought, you can't beat them, join them. Only thing is, you keep cutting your toes on all these rocks, coral, whatever they are, where all the shellfish like to cling to. <laughs> Foragers, hunters. Some out of view. Students, you can probably see there by Central Sriracha, you know what's behind there, it's the zoo. Alright. Turn the camera off and let's go and have a drink. Alright, catch you later. Good afternoon everybody, back in the park today, as you can see the weather's a bit different from yesterday, what is the weather like today? Why I come back here today is because yesterday I made a little video about this part of the park and it didn't come out, sound problems again, so hopefully this is all clear guy out there on his boat. Looks like a nice thing to do today. Water is so calm. I hope you can see that. Right. This is what I came to highlight. See these rubbish bags? These are good. These come from, I mentioned a lady called Donna, who her and her friends have a project to clean these beaches. Unfortunately, they don't have the means to take the bags away. So anyone with a pickup truck, if you've got a spare 10 minutes, please come and help them, it's a worthy job. I don't know if they're coming here today, but as you can see, there's litter up washed up again. Sad food, food uh, containers, plastic. Usually a clue that the beach is full of pigeons. Good, and you? <laughs> I've watered so far. So peaceful. And because of the rain, I think that guy I guess said hello to is the only other person in the park at the moment. Student in the park. On top of the climbing frame. Oh, there is someone else here. There's some more of their bags that they don't have the facilities to take home with them. So as I said, if you've got to pick up spare 10 minutes, please come and help them. I'll show you their um, 
their advertising sign in a minute, which I noticed yesterday. So you can help them. So many beautiful flowers this time of year. So I wish I knew what more of them were called. I know the basics, but most of them are UK flowers. This is probably a lily of some sort, but correct me when I'm wrong. Clearer today, there's the fishing board I was on about where I seen the boat captain throwing his rubbish straight in the sea. Yeah, there was a bit tides on its way in. No foragers today, no shellfish hunters. Yeah, Another lovely flower. What you don't get on camera is this doesn't smell the best. I remember probably eight, nine years ago came to here for Galoy with uh, a couple of friends and the tide was way out. So we waded in it to go and uh, float up at long. We didn't smell good afterwards. It felt like it took two or three days to get rid of the smell. Maybe should have had a shower. And the dogs are out on the there today, if you can see them, three dogs there. Wonder what they're up to. Are they fishing? See, I've, it's only about three months maximum I've had this camera and I've started doing some vlogging. I wish I'd done it years ago because I've been to quite a few places and seen quite a few things. I've been very lucky. And one thing I always remember is in the Gombo in Sriracha, there was a doll called Scooby, not much imagination in the name, I know, that used to dive in the sea and come back with a fish. Bless her, beautiful girl. <laughs> this here you can see is all new. I mentioned before in a previous video, this park was closed for a couple of years while well, they refurbished it, I suppose is the word. And they're spending a lot of time and money. I don't know who pays for this or if this is done by volunteers, but they, since I was here last two weeks ago, they put these couple of little ponds in, which is nice to see. And when all this grass grows, it's a lovely little area. I don't know if they put fish in there yet. Heading. What I brought to show you is this sign which is blown over. Um, to show you these two little darlings, I think these are the most beautiful birds going, such general little creatures. Quails, we call them in the UK. Don't tell the Thai people, but in England they're, not, they're quite a delicacy. People like to eat them, they have, even have shooting seasons. Here they only like their eggs. Let's pick our sign up. Let's see. Happy Children's Beach. There, you can see the Facebook page, which I think says. Uh, 
There's a Facebook page and there's a line ID there. There you go. If you want to, I said she's asked me to join. Um, well, with me is the time and touch of laziness, to be honest. But if you want to come and join in, I'm sure they'll welcome you. Happy Children's Beach. Notice they got a, what do you call it, smart TV, whatever, digital board up there. I wasn't here before. On this, this, attached to this, which always makes me laugh, because I don't know what it says. <laughs> I know the warning tower. <laughs> There's a question for your students. Translate into English, what is the warning tower for? Winner penguin. Nearly done recording today. I'm heading over to the squirrel tree. Feed my squirrels. Actually, I had to change my bag this morning because I'm just about to go out and um, meet my friend for coffee. Picked up my bag and full of red ants. It got in the peanut bag that I used for the squirrels, so I had to clean the bag out or wash it or swap all my stuff into my other backpack. I've now put the peanuts in an old ice cream tub. <laughs> Hopefully that should stop them. There's one. You can see him up in, up in, up in the coconut tree. There he is. Yeah. Something you don't see very often. Squirrels in coconut trees. Hiding. <laughs> there we are, there's the squirrel tree. If you want to come to the park and feed them, get yourself a bag of peanuts. Alright, enough for today. You've seen the squirrels before, as lovely as they are. Catch you on the next one. Have a great day.